Hey everybody, what's going on? Ramboshi here, thanks for tuning in. It's Thursday. Bitcoin, day after Bitcoin crash day. And just want to welcome you to the video. Um, wanted to thank you for watching the live stream yesterday. First of all, I think that was a really good, really good uh, session. And we went through a lot of really good content. I think I, I wrote in there, I wrote to you guys, that was the, uh, that's my, my net alpha uh, of my, sum, my net sum of all alpha possible. Uh, just really wanting to, again, teach and, and do what we can here. So um, first, thanks for tuning in. I would ask you to, to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel and get the notifications for when we do go live. We we have a, a weekly kind of standing live stream. But please like the, the video. We're trying to get the word out and trying to uh, to tell people we're here as a place to to learn how to read a chart and how to build the skills of a trader and how to trade and be successful in the markets. So before we get in, I wanted to, uh, to say that. And then again, thanks for, thanks for being a part of this. Um, you know, I think we have a lot of really cool ideas and some really, I think, really good things ahead of us for, for this year. So uh, last night was pretty wild. Um, during the live stream, we had a, a kind of a melting, a melt off that turned into some, some pretty interesting action here it resolved I guess that's by about five o'clock central time Bitcoin finally bottomed here and it's just been sideways ranging it had an initial recovery and it's been sideways since um, <clears throat> if you compare this to total three total three actually is doing a lot much better and you're seeing the alt spring um, a little bit harder than you know Bitcoin's kind of flat on the day here just hanging in there green and you're seeing, let's just zoom in total three really quickly, but you are seeing, you're seeing a strengthening in total three. So there you have it. Alts are kicking up. Uh, I think for me, the biggest question, and I did write this in the telegram is that I don't know why I'm just wanting to observe the market today. Not wanting to really jump in just yet. And I wanted to be patient and I'm going to do that. Um, I did get XRP last night in the seventies. I think that's a, that's a pretty good deal. I really wanted to get a nice bag of that. So I did, and I think that's a really good trade for the chart and some awesome, you know, the SEC stuff that resolves. Um, I think that's gonna be, that could be really a, a nice, a nice trade. So just went ahead and did that. Um, and then we'll see what else. You, you know, I you got my list from, from yesterday in the live stream, but also um, looking at just all the, all the relative charts. So again, um, the real question is, is this, is this complete, is this over? No one knows that. Right. There's, um, you know, there's no one that can tell you that it's over. No one can tell you that it's, that it's finished. No one can tell you anything about the future. And that's why as a trader, you have to take, take the certain risks that are, that are yours on Bitfinex. We did not make a new low according to this chart. Let's see if, let's see if Coinbase we did not. That's right. Yesterday we looked at that and, um, I don't think we did. So we'll see what happens. Um, interesting on, you know, both equities. Let's go back to the the hourly. We can, Coinbase is fine. Let's go back to, you know, Bitcoin and equities. There was FOMC statement about interest rates, and apparently they came out and said we're going to have to raise interest rates a little bit sooner, and the market reacted. But if you saw my work and my idea about what I thought what might happen in the S and P was, I was expecting a, a retrace back to that breakout anyways at about 4700 we got that we dipped a little bit further you know i'm paper trading i did i, I was short this during the live stream it was a gr huge trade and you know and then i turned around and i did go you know simulated long you know here it was early but i took it and we'll see 4700 i'm i am expecting a blow off top uh higher time frame stuff so this drop in equities really started at around 1 p.m. Yeah, right at FOMC t statement time at 1, I guess it'd be 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central. And back on Bitcoin's chart, we dropped, yep, right at the exact same time. So it was kind of like a uh, money flow out of all, mark, all risk markets, in my opinion. So we'll see how it resolves. You know, can the, can the bulls finally take this? Or do we get that pattern like we went in depth over yesterday in the live stream of 
kind of the, the summer of 2021, where we had this pattern, a fake out, back back to this range, a drop, back to the range, a meltdown, then the bulls take over. So we're just watching to see how, how it resolves. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys, this is something you can do on your your um, on your side. I put this together in five minutes, literally. Um, I could walk you through that quickly, but um, basically start with a Bitcoin, Bitcoin base layer chart, make it a line chart. I color mine black, so I know Bitcoin's black. Then click this compare compare tool, and you just start typing. Type ICP one YFI Manomatic. Just type these in and select them. They add as a new line on the chart. And then one thing that I had to do, it's over here on the settings icon, click that and I included labels. So you have to say labels, symbol name label. So I just click that and then the name shows up. But um, yeah, I think it was CM in the in the chat that, that had this last night. And I was a little jealous because I, I had done mine on uh, charts.cointrader.pro for a while, but I'm like, let's just, let's try this in trading view. And it's really slick. Um, so if we're gonna zoom in, so what I would do is I would really start looking at this from the say 5 p.m. yesterday to current, just to see which ones are starting to outpace the pack. So you wanna see like there's a Peloton group, there are leaders, laggards, and uh, who's doing what. So I would zoom this down to probably the 15 minute chart and hopefully it builds. Yep, here we go might take a while so I'm doing this on the fly guys but that's so that's the drop I want to get this back to keep zooming in till I put all that at because all this is all in the same percent scale and so it starts normalizes everything to zero at the start of the left side of the screen so what you have to do is match your zoom See, so I want to get enough chart resolution. So I zoom in and then bring it back. And then I'm trying to push it so that left side is right there. I think that's, there we go. I think that's about it. Okay. So you have this pack that's kind of angling, trending up. Bitcoin is flattish, um, but you have like a, you know, a key to coming up from the bottom. One mana, obvious outperformers, Adam, YFI. YFI sprung early. YFI is in this purple. I think that's it right there. Remember that sprung early last night. Yuma actually was up. I don't think I added Yuma, Yuma to this chart, but that was a wild, it was a big wick actually. But um, yeah, just interesting again to see what liquidity can do. So there you have it. This is the compare chart. And you have these, it's cool to, to get the ticker over here on the right so you can just quickly scan and see what's what on my other the other system I wasn't able to do that so or I didn't I didn't take time to figure it out so we'll see what happens um you know will we recover are we going to go sideways are we going to get you know are we going to kind of go down from here so eyes on equities eyes on bitcoin eyes on everything I just like I mentioned I just kind of want to observe today and um you know wait for something to say like you have to buy this right now so we'll see and that's it Guys, um, I would recommend if you haven't watched the live stream, please do. It's um, tons of con, like tons of information. I dump my brain out and say, you know, hey, let's look at tops and bottoms and how I see it and how I've learned to see it over these years. And we get into some psychology and Bravo so shows us some sweet stuff on charts and equities and some other charts. And we just dive in and we look at different paths and different, you know, and everything. So if you want to know what's going on, if you want to know what I think about the market, it's there in the live stream and it's uh it's a couple hours but it's solid solid content and i hope you enjoy it again thanks for tuning in like share and subscribe don't forget to like the video and um and we'll see we'll see you again next time thanks again